I'm Aaron Goldstein. I'm here with co-host Mark Hemstreet and our second guest of the show, Dr. Hermosi. That's right, Dr. Hermosi. And uh, Dr. Hermosi comes from our, he's a uh, foot and ankle surgeon. Um, Dr. Hermosi, welcome to the show. Glad Thank to have you, you today. Thank you. Thank cool. you, very, Mark. I appreciate it. Absolutely. See you again. A new member of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce, who is the host of this program, and uh, we just did a ribbon cutting for him. He just opened up his second office. He has an office down in the San Bernardino Valley, and now he has an office right here in Lancaster. So, but let's let's go a little bit. Let's start. Let's go back a little bit for your first one. Let's go back to your background. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got here. Well, um, thank you for having me on the show. I actually uh, grew up here in the Hano Valley area, and I went to uh, Palma High School. And then uh, transferred to Cal State um, Northridge for my undergrad and uh, medical uh, working courses. Then from there, I went to uh, pediatric school up in the uh, San Francisco area. Hmm. After four years of school, I decided to return back to the Southern California area. And I did my surgical residency here in the Southern California area. It was a three-year um, comprehensive uh, surgical residency. And after residency, I decided to stay here in the Southern California area and eventually uh, come back to the hometown and provide my services. Yep, we always need uh, good people in the foot and ankle. You know, uh, it's always a high demand out here, and uh, glad to have you up here. Glad to have a brand. I mean, your office is beautiful. Thank you. It just looks fantastic. Uh, all high tech, which yes. is pretty cool. Um, so, what do you currently do? Uh, well, currently I have my um, currently have two locations. Uh, one out here, the new one in Lancaster, another one in the San Fernando Valley. And senior area and uh, basically uh, go back and forth between the two offices. I am also an assistant uh, clinical professor at the University of um, Western where I teach uh, residents and I do courses and uh, other things for the residents and also uh, teach other doctors and surgical procedures and uh, mostly surgical techniques. Also, I'm involved with the uh, Animal Valley Wound Care Center here at AB Hospital. Where oh, okay. You and I were there, mm -hmm. we met. Mm -hmm. So I'm the medical director there as well. And also a uh, medical consultant for the California Board. So, Wow, so you keep a different... little busy, don't little you? A little busy, yes. <laughs> a little Just a busy. little bit. Just a little bit. Wow. Yes, um, yes. So in your practice, what would you say is... What do you see the most of? Uh, in my current practice, I see a little bit of everything pretty much between the two different locations and all the other titles I mentioned and all different locations I go to. I see pretty much everything as far as um, elective um, uh, procedures, elective things such as bunions, hammer toes, uh, fractures, uh, sports medicine injuries, uh, wound care, uh, starting to do a lot of uh, stem cell now, PRP. So. Uh, a lot of different, a broad spectrum of pretty much everything from adults to pediatrics. Cool. Talking about stem cell, and, what, and so what, what does that encompass? What is that? How, how do we involve stem cells in, as far as wound care and fixing something that's broken? Sure, sure. I'm the lame so, here, so. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, no worries. So uh, stem cell is actually very exciting stuff. It's been around for about 15 to 17 years in the wound care world. So we've been doing uh, stem cells, putting them on wounds and uh, ulcers of that nature for about 15 years now. So that's been around for a long time. And uh, it's been showing many, many good results. There's been many, many studies behind it that support it. And most insurance do cover it for uh, the wound care world. As far as all the other things that we are using it for now, that's all very new and cutting edge technology, such as for tendonitis, arthritis, um, Achilles tendon pain, plantar fasciitis, any tendonitis of the foot and ankle, any arthritic joint of the foot and ankle, we're pretty much putting that stuff incorporated, just basically injecting it in that area. And it's showing a lot of good results. Uh, it's not FDA approved yet for those indications, but uh, the preliminary studies have been very well, uh, um, the outcome is very well. So it's very exciting stuff. So when you inject the stem cells, let's say you have plantar fasciitis, mm -hmm. right, in which, which you have pain on when you put pressure on your on your heel or something sure. like that, right? Sure. Um, does it grow new heels or what is, what, what's it doing? So, so the whole idea with the stem cell is basically, uh, there's several types of stem cell when we talk about stem cell. There's one that we could harvest from an actual patient, which I, I, I'm not a big fan of because um, if you have a nice healthy patient and you're kind of getting their bone or whatnot, they usually harvest it from the bone site and the bone site harvesting from uh, iliac crest, the hip bone basically, mm -hmm. becomes very tender. 
So we have many other good options. Instead of that now, there is uh, the one I use is from the umbilical cord. So basically, oh, okay. you know, the, the child yeah, when it's yeah. birth, born, we get that. It goes through a lab. The F is all through FDA guidelines. The sterilization is done over there. They get that. They harvest it. They send it to us. And basically, all it is just comes in a small vial. We numb up the area prior to that. We inject in the problematic site. And the whole idea is that we have nice uh, new cells. And wherever you inject those cells in that area, it's going to replicate those cells. And basically, we generate that tissue, tendon, whether it be cartilage, bone, or um, tendon, or fascia, or whatnot. Wow, that sounds pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. It sounds a lot better than, than, than getting out the knife and... Uh, there's exactly yeah <laughs> but but also i mean i i'd say kind of jokingly getting out the knife but i, I mean i think as far as surgery goes and what you do it's changed dramatically than than in the past i mean we talk about minimal invasive cutting and 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 edge surgeons talk a little bit about that what, what's what's changed sure. in the last i don't know like five ten years so a lot of the things that have changed is exciting that we're doing a lot of minimal invasive surgeries and procedures basically what that means is that we're able to utilize a lot of different instrumentations whether it be scopes basically or small cameras that we use for assistance and guidance so instead of going ahead and opening up the patient for example if they have achilles tendon rupture they have a four centimeter uh rupture instead of going in there and making a four centimeter incision we could do all that stuff for about a one centimeter incision now. And oh, nice. um, so you cut less, basically allows for much faster recovery time, uh, less dissection, faster recovery for the tendon, the patient could return to activity and walking in a much faster rate. And uh, a lot of times for that reason, physical therapy is not even really indicated because the fact that there's no real scar tissue or anything of that nature. So that's all very new and uh, cutting edge stuff. So in your office, what, what type of procedures can you do, and, and what, are you, what are you doing mostly in, in your offices? Um, actually, right now, with uh, the current stuff with the stem cell, I'm starting to do a lot of stem cell injections in the office. Those are in-office procedures. It's just basically uh, what we do is just prep the area first, just numb up the patient, and uh, let them numb up a little bit, and just inject the stem cell in that problematic area. And also uh, PRP, that is uh, protein-rich plasma which uh, we do that in the office as well. It's just basically getting the blood from the patient, just similar to a lab when you go do your lab work or whatnot, and we spin in the machine and basically just inject the protein-rich plasma in the problematic area. So a lot of uh, non-invasive, non-surgical stuff can be done in the office in addition to the, uh, the orthotics and um, examinations and gait analysis and all that stuff. Nice. And then the other thing that I'm hearing, though, is which to me sounds really good. Is, I mean, I know it seems people that have like um, arthritis or tendonitis. Um, you get injections with either steroids or something else that just basically blocks the pain. Exactly. Um, it, it's not healing you. It's just Correct. kicking that can down the road for six weeks yes. or I don't know how long they. But but it, it doesn't fix the problem. Whereas what I'm hearing that. Uh, the PRPs or the stem cells actually can go in there and, and, and your body actually reheals itself. Is exactly. that, are we hitting the right channel? You're absolutely right about that and that is very exciting stuff. Uh, what you might have heard in the past with the uh, cortisone injections, we never do it more than three times per year, so you always hear that. Uh, the number one reason for that is that if you inject too much in the same area, it could deteriorate things. So it could uh, cause tendon ruptures, it could cause more arthritis to the joint or whatnot. But with the uh, PRP or the stem cell, there's nothing that is shown to be uh, damaging to the joint area. They don't, the FDA doesn't tell you you can only inject three times a year for that. And for that reason, it's very exciting because uh, the stem cell and the PRP is actually regenerating, help regenerate new cartilage growth, new tendon growth, um, help regenerate the fascia and cool. the ligaments. So that's yeah, really right. cool. How do we find you? Um, well, I am located at um, 44725. Uh, 10th West in Lancaster, California, and also my other office down in uh, Encino, California, 16952 Ventura Boulevard, Suite 100, and you guys could uh, find me at any of those locations, or you guys could call my office. For both offices, same telephone line, it's 818-981-1900, and always, you can always look me up on Facebook, um, online, it's just very easy, DRJ. Uh, Hermosi at uh, gmail.com. You can look me up or .com, my own website. 
and you guys could uh, request an appointment and look at my uh, surgical videos and procedure videos and everything else. It's very self-explanatory. It's all there. Um, Watch your surgical videos. Yeah. I <laughs> don't know about that. Although, although we're talking about, about you, you do feet and ankles, so we're not talking about open heart surgery. Yeah, here, we're right? we're not, not doing that. No, no. So it's yeah. not, not quite as bad, but yes. you do the yes. before and after pictures? Of, Absolutely. Of... Absolutely. They're on the website and also on my Facebook page. <laughs> yes. You can definitely see all that. Yes. I love it. We're here today with Dr. Hermosi. Um, he's a foot and ankle surgeon and specialist. If you have uh, foot pain, if you have soreness, if you have, I mean, I know diabetics have problems with Absolutely. their feet and of circulation. Uh, you know, let, let's, not, let's not get to a point where we have to start amputating toes. Let's yes. catch it ahead of time. Okay. Let, let's get you in to see uh, Dr. Hermosi and uh, get an examination, see what he can do. Um, exciting stuff with stem cells and uh, PRPs. I think it's really awesome. I am glad to have you on the show today. Thank you. And uh, we really you. appreciate it. So other places you can look for him is you can go to the Lancaster Chamber website, lancastercchamber.org, and go under our directory and look up uh, surgeons. You can look up doctors. You can look up, I think, he's under foot and ankle. Um, you can find him there. So Dr. Hermosi, thank you for being on the show. We appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you for your time. All right, thank it. you. It was a pleasure.